Peace and blessings. This is my queen with divine blessings and I am coming to you with another video where I am actually going to print on a jean jacket. So this is the jean jacket that I'm going to be printing on. It's a large. And so originally I printed this photo. So y'all know how I'm always doing some mistakes, right? This is way too big. So if you see it was over the seams and if I cut, the image would have been cut. So we couldn't do that. So then I printed this one and it fits in the seams here. But there's mad space right here. So see there? So what I'm doing is I put a line that you can barely see because I can barely see it, but I don't want it shown. And I'm gonna paint in this area. So I'm gonna paint first before I print to make sure, you know, it's seamless. And I'm gotta figure out what I'm gonna put up there. So I will see you in a few. Okay, so here what I am doing is measuring on the jacket because I decided that in this space, I was going to put her name, but her name is like a million letters, right? So, <laughs> but her nickname is Nani. So that's only four letters. So I'm trying to measure to see where I need to space. Well, at first I was actually gonna try to do her, her whole name. And then I was like, okay, between the um, letters, the space between the letters, it would just really would not have worked. And so then I decided, okay, um, I have to do the four, the nickname, Nami, so that I could only just put four because I was trying to fit, I think she got like eight letters, but yeah, that wouldn't have worked. And so now that I decided that I was going to do her name and I'm going to use this, um, what do you call it? Stencil. <laughs> I'm gonna use this stencil. I am going to do it in white. And I am using the Jacker. I believe it's called Jacker paint. I got it from, I got my paint from um, Jerry's, which is in West Orange, New Jersey. So it's not like around here. And um, yeah, that's where I got the paint from. So I'm opening it. This is what I'm gonna use as the base well, as the coloring for her name, and then you'll see I'll outline it later. Okay, so I'm figuring out where to place the N. So it's going to be N-A-N-I with these fancy lettering. So I'm trying to figure out how to um, space it so that I can fit all four letters evenly. So I'm putting the N and the A together just to make sure I'm spacing it right before I start actually painting. I really don't know why I decided to dip it in the water before I started painting, especially since it's white. But for some reason I did that. I don't know why, but that just made me have to go over the letter even more to get the white as white as I needed it to be. But yeah, so here I am coloring in the end with white paint using this stencil.
Um, I don't know if you can notice, but me trying to hold the stencil down with one hand, using my fingers all over the place like I'm a pianist, <laughs> it was like difficult in some spots. But I was making it happen. I was making it happen, trying to make sure that I did not move that um, stencil. Plus, you know, I didn't want the paint to be all over, get all over the place, so I had to make sure I kept it still. And now I have to blow dry each letter before I start the next letter. Otherwise, the stencil will get in the wet paint and mess up the actual letter. So now I'm blow drying. And here's the full name, Nani, N-A-N-I. Um, that I was really looking like a T, so I had to add some extra paint to the sides but these letters are may maybe a little too fancy but anyway um so here I am using the um fabric paint the 3d fabric fabric paint that I have and I'm going to outline her name in pink By the way, this requires that steady hand again, but um, I'm pretty good at keeping my hands steady when it comes to painting. So after I put everything down, I actually forgot to show you before I put it under the heat press, but um, I'm basically heat pressing the paint and the image onto the jacket. Now, as you can see, the image is kind of dull, like the colors didn't pop and it's because I didn't change the settings on the heat press because I was so focused with the paint that I wasn't thinking that I needed to raise the... Um, heat press back to 385 for the image so um I'm actually going to realize it while I'm showing you this and then later on I just went back and he pressed it again <clears throat> excuse me and got the color to pop a little more than that to the actual colors that the image is supposed to be So I, I'm not sure if you can tell from here, but the image is much more vibrant than it was. So anyway, now I am here um, creating a flower. I'm putting a flower right here. Um, you know, I, well, if you follow me long enough, you know I like daisies. So that's what I'm about to draw right here in this corner. With um, So I'm doing the base in white and then I'm going to go over it in yellow and then that pink glitter that you can see right there next to the paint um, plate I don't know what you call that <laughs> paint plate there's a little pink small glitter 
and I am going to make that the base I mean the circle the circle part is going to be pink and then the leaves or petals we'll call them petals the petals will be yellow And so since this becomes repetitious, I am actually going to speed the video up. And as you can see, this needs to dry before I can add the top layer of yellow and pink. And I am using the Castle 3D because I didn't have yellow in the jacket. So I just took the little bottle of um, Castle 3D. I'm showing you the red because I was going to add red as well. But then I changed my mind. I didn't even use the red. Okay, so this part is also repetitious, so I am going to speed up this process as well. Okay, so this is Glitter Bites so or Glitter Lights. It's, either way, I got it from Jerry's um, Art Supply in West Orange as well. So I'm just showing you what it looks like. Um, and that's what I'm going to put in the middle of the circle. So at the bottom of the jacket, I'm doing another daisy the exact same way, except I'm going to add um, a stem with a couple of leaves on the bottom of it to go on to the base of the jacket. So that's what I'm doing right now.
again from Castle 3D Paint, I am now outlining both flowers with um, black. So the black 3D um, paint will be the outline. Just to give it a little um, pop, you know, I could have just left it the regular colors, but I figured I'd add the black to make it stand out a little more, especially against the yellow. The weird part about doing this is it's like soothing, like serenity. So I, the reason I don't use the actual audio is because I'm listening to music as I'm actually drawing on the jacket and it just feels so serene to me. Okay, so now for the top of the jacket, I decided that I would put um, Zeta at the top because that's what she is. Remember, she's in Zeta Phi Beta. So um, I'm using the cutting board to wrap the jacket around to give me a smooth, hard surface because um, this is a big space and I have to make sure that the letters are even. So again, I'm still going to use um, a stencil, but the stencil is going to be bigger letters and they're still just as fancy. So I have to try to figure out, um, you know, where to place them so that each letter is on there evenly. And you see this is a Z. But everyone thinks it looks like an L, which it does. Only the front part has a, such a big loop. So I'm doing, using the blue jacket. I hope that's how you say that paint. <laughs> blue jacket fabric paint from Jerry's Art Supply Store. I think that's what's the name of it. Or Jerry's Crafts, something like that. Anyway, it's Jerry's. And it's in West Orange, New Jersey. So, um, yeah, that's where I got that paint from. And I am about to begin laying these letters down in blue. And then, um, I mean, it, I'm sorry. I showed you the blue, but I'm actually going to do it in white first. So I'm doing the letters in white because I wanted to pop against the blue jean jacket. And then I'm going to um, outline it in that blue. I'm going to yeah, kind of blend some of it in a little bit, but mostly on the outline. So yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy this little process. So, and as you can see, I had to speed it up because this would take forever. And I'm not sure if you noticed, but um, I started with a blue hoodie, <laughs> then I had on a pink hoodie, and now I have on a black hoodie, which means it took me three days to do this process only because I had to wait for the paint to dry and then I would be like, okay, I'll go back to it tomorrow. So yeah, that's how I did this process. So it took me three days just to do this little jean jacket. Again, no drawing the uh, paint so I don't get it on my black hoodie going to the next letter.
the funniest thing is my lips are moving because I'm singing to the music in the background. But it looks crazy when you don't actually hear the words to the song. Here I go with the piano fingers trying to make sure the stencil doesn't come up. But um, yeah, here we are with the final look of the Zeta words. And now I decided that I am going to add patches to the jacket as well. So here's the first patch, it's a, um, some lips. I plugged in the iron, made sure no water was in it, and I am going to lay the iron on the patch for um, 10 to 15 seconds, just to make sure the glue sticks. And on the other side, I put a flower, as you can see. And this is the finale. So I hope you enjoyed the process. I thank you for watching and I wish you much peace and blessings. Peace.